Breaking news from the January 6th Select Committee just out with um, news about requesting information from Congressman Jim Jordan. Joining me now is NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Garrett Hake, NBC News Justice correspondent Pete Williams, and again, John Bresnahan. Uh, so, Garrett, what are they asking for from Congressman Jordan? In this case, the committee chair, Ben Thompson, Benny Thompson, says that Jordan was in touch, they believe, multiple times with Donald Trump on the 6th itself. And they want to ask him about those discussions, what was discussed, whether it was a text or phone call, what have you, during the hours that the violence was going on. And what was discussed about the possibility of continuing the challenge to the election results after the Capitol was cleared. The committee chairman's letter to Jordan also points out that Jordan has said publicly when he's been asked about January 6th since that he's got nothing to hide, almost daring him to come and be willing to answer questions. Brez, what do you make of this news? Well, uh, you know, they, they crossed the threshold when they first asked Scott Perry for information. They're clearly uh, setting up for Kevin McCarthy. What's up, everybody? Major retired Richard Ojeda here, and now we're talking. The January 6th committee is taking off the gloves and are going for the knockout with bare knuckles. Jim Jordan is at the center of this, and here's why. We know that there was an inside group of congressional representatives that were providing reconnaissance tours to the insurrectionists, telling them where to go and which offices to attack. Reports are that they even knew the location of the vice president real time. So, folks, they tried to overthrow our government, and I can't state that loudly enough. And Jim Jordan was in the center of all. That is what makes the coward McCarthy trying to assign Jim Jordan onto a committee that much more infuriating. From the beginning, McCarthy was trying to engage in a cover-up. That is why I am grateful we have Nancy Pelosi as our speaker. She shut that garbage down real quick and said no to Jim Jordan being on the committee that resulted in Kevin McCarthy throwing a hissy fit and crying down to his boss in Mar-a-Lago. In Nancy, we trust and Jim Jordan will not have a festive Christmas because he's feeling the heat. Now, I can already tell you what Jim Jordan's next move is, or actually what Trump's next move is going to be. They will cry executive privilege. Donald Trump thinks that he has this get out of jail free card for life. It hasn't said in his orange Cheeto laced head that executive privilege cannot and will not save him. Trump still cannot wrap his head around the fact that only the current occupant of the executive branch, you know, the one that has received over 81 million legally cast votes, can invoke executive privilege. That person happens to be a man of integrity and honor, and his name is President Joe Biden. This is far from over, folks. Trump is going to try to claim executive privilege 10 more times, and each time President Biden will tell him to kick rocks. Now, let me just make it clear that President Biden is not denying Trump's request for executive privilege for political reasons. He is denying them because there is nothing privileged about the information requested. Trump, along with Jim Jordan, planned, strategized, financed, executed, and tried to cover up an insurrection against our government. And in most countries, including ours, that is the highest crime of the land. It's called treason. In the old days, do you know what the punishment was for treason? Do you know what the punishment is for treason across the globe even today? The January 6th committee led by Representative Benny Thompson is treating this investigation like a peeled onion. They're going after it layer by layer until there is nothing left for Trump and company to run to. They are investigating this from every possible angle and leaving no stone unturned. And that's making Jim Jordan, Trump, and everyone else very, very nervous. And they should be. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.